So today we are covering this. What is this you're gonna ask? This is the Acetec 645LT, the smallest 92 millimeter uh, pump and radiator AIO. As promised before guys, as a surprise, at least not for many of you, I was going to grab one of those and try it out with a HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop, the Walmart Special. So we're gonna talk about this today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ivan, this is Hardware Sense. And you guys, if you've been following my series of videos on upgrades, modifications, and other hardware tailoring around these pre-built computers from HP, Lenovo, and other brands, uh, welcome back. This is the culmination of all of it for the HP. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, first, quick background story. Uh, I grabbed this one from Europe because the Acetec store here in the US sells only uh, the pump and the radiator combo uh, without the Noctua fan. They recommend it, but at the same time, you gotta buy it separately. Also, they don't provide the Intel uh, brackets. That's the retention plates. We need uh, to install it to the motherboard. Again, you gotta buy it extra. So the price on their website is $99. Then if you factor the Noctua NFA9, uh, it's another $16. If you factor the retention plates, it's another $12. So that raises the price up and up and up. And at $99, it's already way, way too expensive, even considering to some bigger AIOs. Yeah, I know it's a kind of a niche thing. It's the only one that it's at this size. So maybe that justifies the price. But anyway, I went to uh, Overclockers UK. They have it on a much better price. Comes down to about, I think, 90 some dollars. Uh, this is uh, including the Noctua fan. This is including the retention plates. This is including the mounting screws. Um, they even throw in uh, some Thermo Grizzly Cryonaut uh, Thermo Grease. If you guys don't have one, you can use that as well. But uh, one of the best things is that uh, Noctua A9X14 uh, slim profile 92 fan, 92 millimeter fan from Noctua. Uh, very quiet, very efficient, and of course, you know, like I said, $16 if you buy it separately, but it comes down from uh, Overclockers UK in the bundle. Now, long story short with them, I made an uh, order about a month ago. They shipped it and then it never came. They sent me an email saying that uh, it was undeliverable. I checked with DHL. It was a different story, long story short. Uh, customer service is very good they helped me out send it out again i finally received the package not even two days later super fast through dhl opening it up ending up with a different model so instead of the small uh, 645 uh, lt i got the 575 lc which is a uh, 12 millimeter um, thicker radiator uh, on top of that I only had the amd uh, retention plate so again i contacted them they sent it then check the status the next day was sent back to them four times finally i was like please send it over <laughs> uh, they finally sent it it arrived it arrived at least the correct model unfortunately the retention plates were still amd i was like you know what forget about it i went and bought me some retention plates from amazon like i said 12 dollars so long story short finally after so many many weeks uh, i've been hinting to this one i wanted to I'll talk to you guys about it, show you how it's mounted, uh, do results and see if this is actually a better, is it more efficient compared to the site, a big sure can three I currently have, or there's a several different things you might consider. Uh, and one of them is uh, the actual uh, function and engineering of the whole situation. Now going in and buying this, uh, I factored everything and I thought, I follow the logic, uh, what's gonna happen, uh, because the way this uh, case is constructed for the HP computer, uh, it only has one exhaust point, and that exhaust point currently is populated by a 92 millimeter uh, fan by uh, Foxconn, of course, uh, P PWM controlled by the motherboard as well. 
this 92 millimeter fan is solely responsible for exhausting all the hot air from the components, the CPU, the GPU, uh, the NVMe drive, the memory, everything that generates heat inside the box has to be exhaust for that heat dissipation. If you mount one of those on that specific case, and again, this is uh, all the line of thoughts that I was following even before I ordered it, even before I bought it, I knew that might happen. Um, all you, because when you install this, you gotta replace that uh, 92 millimeter fan at the back with this radiator. And once you uh, put it against the wall, this is your only point again that's gonna exhaust the hot air out of the box. So everything that's generated inside, yeah, it's gonna be great. The pump is gonna be working over the CPU to kind of extract the heat straight to the radiator. It's not gonna be dispersed inside the uh, actual case, but at the same time, you have other components that are doing that. So that same heat needs to go through the same point. So this fan has to work extra to push not only the heat generated by the CPU, but also the heat generated by the other components. Now, with other cases, this problem is solved because uh, they have more ventilation or another exhaust point where you have another fan that works in tandem with this one to kind of exhaust uh, the generated heat. Now, going with this thought, I knew that that experiment might not be very successful for me uh, because of that uh, logic. So anyway, I decided to go ahead and do it. I, this time around, I actually decided to actually time myself and see how long it's gonna take me to replace that uh, site uh, Big Shuriken 3 and install the Acetec 645LT on its place. And it exactly took me 46 minutes uh, without me rushing too much and kind of you know preparing myself a little bit more. But at the same time, keep in mind that I have an experience uh, disassembling this computer several different times. So maybe it will take you a little bit longer time if you're not familiar with it. But I would say no more than an hour with everything assembling, disassembling and um, putting it back together. When you put it back uh, together with uh, this specific uh, configuration, it really looks very, very clean. Uh, we don't have that big bulk from the radiator of the uh, Big uh, Can 3 to fill most of the upper portion of the box. So it's really nice and clean and uniform, uh, which uh, really kind of looks great. Um, so installing it, putting it back together, I actually removed the pre-applied uh, thermal compound on that pump because it com comes, uh, you know, uh, pre-applied from the factory. Again, this is only Acetec branded. It's not tailored to any other companies that they produce for. Uh, so I know that they come with pretty good uh, thermal uh, grease, but I wanted to remove it and apply the same GD900 that I have uh, just to keep things uh, uniform and very comparable with the uh, side picture can 3. Now, almost immediately when I start running our, my tests, uh, when I started uh, doing games and going through the same routine that I normally do uh, with the rest of the components, uh, I kind of find out right away that the temperature is going to be higher. Uh, and as you can see, we are looking at roughly um, about four, five to six degrees higher on the CPU. Um, same kind of extrapolates across all the other components as well. You will see the NVMe drive uh, jumping temperature from 61 before maximum to now 66. Again, that's the five degrees more. Uh, same goes for the GPU. My GPU was varying around 73, 74 degrees, and now it's back to 77, 78. All that, keep in mind, is with 24 to 25 uh, degrees Celsius uh, ambient. So all, all across all the components I saw increase about five degrees, which from one uh, point of view, it's not that much, but from another, is it really worth it spending a hundred dollars uh, for this AIO just to look nicer in a case they don't have a window, you're not really gonna see it. Um, silence, not really. I think with the side picture can three, uh, and that 12 millimeter fan that they have there, it's a lot more quieter. Uh, it's a lot better on decibels. I did not actually use anything to measure it, but I can hear it with my own ears. And because this fan had to work extra on the AIO, 
definitely the noise is more pronounced. The pump is very quiet. I have to give them that. It's, it's nothing really to be concerned, especially when you close the case, you're not even going to hear it, but you will hear that fan ramp ramping up, trying to exhaust that he heat through the radiator and outside. Another small issue I see with this is because the opening in the back of that case is round. Uh, and you, if you're familiar with most cases these days, uh, it's actually square how they make, because if you want to mount the radiator, the radiator is square. So you, it will kind of cover uh, the surface of the radiator, covers the whole surface of the perforation. So when the air gets pushed out, nothing really gets held back. And with this specific, uh, specific situation here, I kind of noticed that uh, the edges of the round or a little bit below of it where it's still radiator and that hot air is getting pushed against the wall it gets really warm so that kind of gives me a little bit more uh, support towards my theory that the, some of that he, uh, heat is going back into the case instead of being exhausted as well um, so again for me personally that uh, upgrade is not really worth it. Um, now, if you are jumping from the uh, stock cooling solution to this, absolutely, by all means, this is gonna be so much better uh, to install. Uh, and by the way, this is this specific model is kind of created for then A4 cases. That's why um, you'll see the tubes here are 90 degrees rotated because this is the way they mounted in that case with the uh, Nocto fan actually pulling cold air from the bottom and pushing it back into the case uh, and the pump kind of goes like this but anyway uh, it works for this specific application here and it's going to work on any computer that has an empty 92 millimeter exhaust or intake uh, perforations that you can put it in uh, but again for this specific situation and in this hp uh, case i don't think it's as efficient and as good as i was expecting or hoping most of all not expecting uh, and I think the optimal uh, situation and an optimal case for this case uh, actually is having a very good heat sink and fan combination uh, with combination of this fan the stock or some other one you want to have on the back of the case to exhaust all the hot air um, obviously with my modifications uh, this is why it becomes optimal because if you, even if you install just a heat sink and fan and rely on passive uh, ventilation for that back uh, fan to just exhaust, it's, it's not gonna be as efficient, but if you modify that side plate uh, based on what I showed you and put two uh, 92 millimeter fans to kind of force cold air inside the box, that becomes a complete winner. And no matter how many tests I ran, uh, no matter how many uh, games or renderings I do, uh, still the temperature stays uh, for the CPU around 70 degrees, so 71, 72. This is again with uh, ambient of 24, 25 degrees. Uh, same goes for the GPU. Uh, the RTX 2070 from ASUS uh, lingers around 72 degrees as well. NVMe drive is a lot cooler, around 61 max I've seen so far. Um, no way for me to measure the memory, but that memory doesn't generate too much heat anyway because it's running on stock at 2666 megahertz and uh, obviously when you have that cold air being pushed straight over uh, very vital components including some of the vrms obviously that is going to be a big benefit uh, in a long run for the computer and we are finally having the exhaust fan at the back i'm running currently the stock one because it's i think it's good enough but hey, you can upgrade it with anything, 92 millimeter that it's PWM, um, and this is gonna be even better if you're if you're okay with that. But again, final 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 words here for me. I think the best configuration for my case, and I advise you all uh, to do the same. If you're going from a stock cooling solution, you have the choice uh, to grab one of those if you want to, uh, or if you want to spend the money, obviously. Um, or just install any good heat sink and fan combination. I personally recommend the Side Big Shuriken 3. Again, this is not a paid promotion. I truly believe in the product. That's why I have it installed on multiple computers. Very quiet and very efficient. So this is the optimal situation for this particular case. Um, and I have the results to prove it uh, and to kind of give you guys the best advice. I know if 
plenty of you guys were wondering about those AIOs. You guys been asking me questions uh, over the comments about this one. That's why I really wanted to grab it and give you uh, the results in my opinion and see what exactly happens when you use this specific uh, uh, model. Kudos to uh, Asetex actually creating a 92 millimeter <laughs> version of their popular AIOs because this is kind of a niche market and they're not, there's not any other companies that actually make that. Uh, and I'm wondering if I can actually jerry-rig this to put it in a GPU because I think if you put this one on a GPU uh, and, and find a way to mount it somewhere in a case, that's going to be a killer, <laughs> killer deal because um, this is going to be significant enough for GPU and I think you're probably not even going to go over 50 degrees on any any GPU if you're able to put, to put it in. But maybe in the future I can test that as well uh, and see how that's going to perform. I'll find a way to mount it. Trust me, I'm thinking about these kind of things all the time. And really apologies for the lengthy video, but you guys know me. I would like to go through the details. I like to cover everything uh, possible. And you guys obviously have asked me multiple times to test this specific AIO. So I wanted to do it. Now, um, a few good words about Overclockers UK, even <laughs> with all the, you know, mashups and going back and forward and, you know, all that stuff, still great customer service. You know, these are finally got it uh, with the fans as well, uh, regardless of the brackets and all that style of stuff, I, I was able to, to cover it. But anyway, this is for now. I have a very exciting pre-build coming again from HP. Uh, I think you guys are going to be absolutely loving this one. I'm going to finish the series with the Lenovo very soon. I owe you guys a couple of videos on that. And I have a Dell computer that it's going to be the ultimate budget gaming machine that I'm going to show you as well. Uh, and believe me, it's not any of these Optiplexes. It's uh, something more intriguing and a, a little bit more curious for you guys to uh, really enjoy. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. Um, support me you guys know I'm gonna fulfill any requests you guys have on these pre-builds I really really enjoy working with them and as always guys till next time you have a wonderful day